farther into the workout I'm gonna pause the vlog really quick to bring you a message from today's sponsor of the vlog okay so I wanted to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this part of the vlog you guys know I get pretty much all of my jewelry from Ana Luisa every time you see me wearing like my rings or this bracelet is Ana Luisa. Just, they're literally one of my favorite jewelry companies ever. So to let you guys know, they only use the best noble metals. They're tarnish free, long lasting. I literally never take this one off. And they don't have any luxury markups. They have jewelry that's priced starting at $39. So it's really affordable and you're getting really high quality jewelry for your money. So I'm excited to be working with them because Mother's Day is right around the corner and you guys know I've been into making little like boxes for people lately where I just get a box um, from like Target and then put some of their favorite things in it and so I got my mom some Ana Luisa jewelry for Mother's Day because she eyes my jewelry all the time and she loves this one ring that I got her and then she also loves this bracelet so I got her this too um, so the jewelry um, they come in this really cute little nice package so let me just show you the three things that I got for her um, so like I said, I got her the same bracelet that I'm wearing right now. I literally never take it off. It is so nice. It's like a chain wrapped bracelet. Um, so yeah, I really like it. It just is Ana Luisa right there. And then I also got her this ring. So the tag just it came off of it. But it has a white center and then gold on the outside. And it's adjustable. And my mom literally tells me every single time she sees me that she likes this ring. Because I always have it on. So I got one for her too. And then these are so trendy. I thought she needed a pair too to match mine. Um, they're just Ana Luisa gold hoops. So yeah really really cute but here's what the ring looks like on excuse my quarantine nails and then here I'll go put in my Ana Luisa gold hoop so I can show you so I don't have to like show you my mom's <laughs> okay so here is what the gold hoops look like on they're just super subtle and simple which I really really like and they aren't very heavy like they're light and they're manageable to wear which I really really like about them so yeah they just have a ton of options for you to choose from on their website they're all really minimal which I really really like and they're just really classic pieces so 
if you go to their website and scroll through and see then you will see all that they have to offer but I just thought it'd be a really good idea to get my mom these because one she's been eyeing them and two I think jewelry is a pretty sentimental gift because it's something they can wear every single day so yeah that's just a little idea for you guys if you're Mother's Day shopping then definitely head over to Ada Luisa I also have a discount code for you guys so if you use the code mom 35 then they're doing buy one get one 35% off everything you will need to know is in the description box below and then I will also have the link to their website so you guys can go and check everything out but I just wanted to give you guys a little early tip because Mother's Day is coming right around the corner and I like to be ahead of the game so that's why I was worrying about it now so hope this gave you guys some inspo for your mom and Mother's Day and yeah let's continue on with the vlog okay back to the workout so for this morning's workout, we are working from, we're working out, working out from home today. So we are going to jog to Harris Teeter, which is like across the street and a little bit down, but we're going to get in our cardio and jog there and then probably like walk back with our energy drinks because that's why we're going there is to get some energy <laughs> drinks. And then, um, I don't know why we don't buy more than one at a time, but it's okay. Anyways, so we're doing that for cardio and then I'm gonna come back here and do an at-home workout And I don't know whose workout I'm gonna follow yet or I think I'm gonna like try and follow like a body weight workout type situation Maybe like mad fit or someone else, but that's the game plan. Here's my outfit Just wearing Gymshark leggings long socks because we're running outside and it's cold and this hoodie is from Target doing some stretches before we go on this run. Okay, so we just got back from our run and then I drank half of this on the way back and then I always put it in the fridge and then when I feel like, cause it's so big to me, when I feel like I'm losing energy throughout like the middle of the day, then I drink the rest. And also I decided that for my workout, I am gonna do a Whitney Simmons follow along workout that she's posted. So I'm just pulling it up on YouTube. Colin's kind of taking like an off day today. So he's just about to sit and work while I do a little workout over yep. here. I'm gonna pull this up and then I will tell you guys how I liked it. I'm gonna do a 20 minute at home. Welcome back, it's a beautiful day to be alive in today. Oh, um, excuse me, pause. Okay, anyways, so I'm doing her 20 minute at home workout, which is the follow along one. And I'll tell you guys how I liked it in case you guys wanna do it. And then after this, I might do the 18 minute ab and hit workout after that, um, just cause I wanna work out for longer than 20 minutes. And then I'll tell you guys what I think. You guys know I'm probably gonna like it though because I'm obsessed with Whitney Simmons. Not actually, I just love watching Whitney Simmons. Whitney Simmons, Sarah's Day, and Aspen Ovard and Alex Garza are like my four main girls that I really like to watch. Aggravated with all of your at-home workouts, you jumping up and down, listen, do grab your water, grab your Keep you in my heart, and my heart is where you are. I still think of you, I want you coming back. I remember when we were staring photo. Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes. And I keep you in my heart, and my heart is where you are. I still think of you, I want you coming back. Call me when you want, maybe I can take.
I keep you in my heart And my heart is where you are I still think of you I want you coming back I remember when we were staring at a photo Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes And I keep you in my heart And my heart is where you are I still think of you I want you My internal temperature on my camera got too hot so my camera automatically shut off but we just did two circuits my total calorie burn um, for active calories is 181 and total is 222 so that was that one I'm gonna take like a five minute break and then we're gonna do at home ab and hit workout so that one's only 18 minutes so I'm gonna get it ready to go and then we'll do that one next <laughs> I still think of you, I want you coming back I remember when we were staring at a photo Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes And I keep you in my heart And my heart is where you are I still think of you, I want you coming back Call me when you want, maybe I can take it on because there was jumping involved so I did my own modifications since we are not on the first floor and that way if you guys are in the same thing and you've seen that video before if you want to just do like the modifications I made then go for it if you can't jump and stuff which I do jump sometimes but I do feel bad doing it like sometimes I just have to <laughs> but I feel bad when I do so I try not to so anyways I'm going to eat because it's just about 12 30 and it's time here was my workout summary from that both of those workouts together so 330 active total 404 so that's pretty good all right so making my classic smoothie I'm not gonna record it because I do that all the time popping my airpods in what podcast am I gonna listen to today is the question okay let me go over to my podcasts we've got Sydney confidential happiness is knowing you're not enough what we said, I'm probably gonna do what we said because that's one of my favorites. I'm just gonna go ahead and play that. Yep, okay, what we said, how to attract good things into your life. What we said is like literally one of my all time faves. Okay, I've kind of gotten ready because Colin and I are about to film the couples yoga challenge YouTube video. So I'm gonna pause the recording for this vlog to film that really quick. And then we'll pick back up with the vlog. But yeah, I'm just, I switched outfits. This sports bra is from Carbon 38. And I completely forgot about it because I don't wear it when I'm like working out and stuff. Um, just because it's not like the tightest, but I figured it'd work for this video. So yeah, also I just didn't like love it from the whatever. So yeah. Hey guys, so things have developed in our life in between us filming the yoga challenge video now. Mainly being that my dad and Tara just called and they are now having a c-section tomorrow So today's the 17th. My baby sister will be born tomorrow April 18th. She's officially an Aries I'm so excited. We found out during the yoga video and so yeah, I've got like no idea which one's gonna be up first or last but um, Actually that will probably be up before you even see this one, but that's when we found out so there's definitely a vlog coming soon of me meeting her or maybe it's already up. I don't even know like what schedule I'm uploading on right now because I've been filming a ton of videos. 
Um, so yeah, I just made some food and um, I'm going to sit here and kind of get some work done. But I can't even believe that she's gonna be born tomorrow. I can't believe she's gonna be an Aries. And yeah, it really doesn't feel real. So you probably already know because I've posted on my Instagram, but that's like the thing that's weird about YouTube videos is they're not like real time, you know? So anyways, I just had to update you guys. I'm gonna get some work done really quick before we carry on with the rest of the day. But I am very, very excited and happy and very, just can't wait watching Maggie McDonald's moving vlog. I'm about to sit here and edit the thumbnail pics from that video and then edit a couple more pictures. Where's my Lightroom? There we go. Here's that. Presets will be coming soon, people. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Okay, I just had to film some sponsored clips for a video. I also just ate another banana because I was really, really hungry and wanted like a quick little snack. What are we eating tonight? Did you decide? To call on, he's in charge, picking. Hey, did you decide what we're eating later? What? <laughs> did you decide what you wanted to eat later? Yeah. What? Tostadas. Okay, we're eating tostadas again later. Tostadas for dinner, it's already 5.12. My mom's supposed to be coming over um, to drop off our my yoga mat that she got me for my birthday because it came a little bit late, obviously. Shipping and stuff is thrown off. I feel like I've just been a working machine the past couple days. And this weekend, I just really want to relax. And I also think we need to pop all these balloons because they're really getting all over in my way. I also wanted to show you guys because we just got this in the mail from Amazon. I ordered a while ago. It took a minute to come in. But um, I got dye because I want to tie dye stuff. Um, and then it, it stuff, I mean, I ordered us sweatshirts and joggers, but I ordered the joggers in white and they got sent to me in gray. So yeah, I'm either going to return them and then now the white pair is sold out. So maybe that's why they ended up sending in gray and hope I just didn't care or I don't really know. But um, yeah, the sweatshirts came in in white, but I don't know if I can bleach the joggers to be white or what. We'll figure it out. Um, but I got this dye idea, like the concept of how I'm going to do it. Um, well, okay, Brooke Michio gave me the idea, and then I saw this dye on the Instagram account, but what should... No, no, no. I don't know. Updates to come. I'll tell you when we actually film the video. But she was using this dye, and she made it like a nudie pink, like kind of tie dye which I really really liked it was more nude and then we got red for Colin because that's his favorite color so the tie dye came in and then I got these bottles so we can pour bleach in them and like do it that way too but now my biggest concern is the sweatpants so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do about that but I will figure that out the sweatshirts in this package we've got so many boxes right now it's insane okay so here's the sweatshirt. Ow, gosh, my freaking, I'm so, I miss the nail salon so much. Okay, here's the sweatshirts. So I got them large on purpose so we can like lounge. And I'm gonna cut mine into a crop top, but or a crop sweatshirt, but here they are. So yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out. So I have been editing this whole time. I finished editing my what I eat in a day video. I need to like edit all these videos because they're all on the same memory card and then I need to clear the memory card so I can use the new space on the memory card. So Colin's busy editing and I'm gonna make dinner or start making dinner because I'm starving. <laughs> yeah so um anyways it has a prep time of 10 minutes which is great but um we the first time we made these on my birthday we i think that we made the actually it was totally my fault they were just really really crispy and i bit into it and mine totally like fell apart it was that day that we made the fort so i'm gonna try and make them a little bit better this time and i'm sitting here waiting for my mom to tell me she said she was coming over like around right now and she hasn't messaged me back yet so yeah, I don't know. I feel like I don't know what to do with myself ever since I found out that baby's coming tomorrow because we can't even go see her in the hospital. So then tomorrow, I feel like the whole time I'm just going to be like glued to my phone and not be able to like work or anything, but at least it's Saturday. So that's a good thing because technically I like can't really work anyways, like with my management team and stuff. And I'm way ahead on my work just because I have a lot of campaigns going on right now. But it's like one of those things, you know, when like something important's happening and you can't pay attention to anything, can't talk. You know, do you know what I mean though? When you can't focus on anything else but that, 
and it's not even like we can go see her tomorrow so it's kind of just upsetting and emotionally like draining <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna be emotionally drained tomorrow i don't know what tomorrow's gonna be like and like then i'm confused because she's gonna be born but i don't want to like post a picture of her until i'm like with her in person you know what i mean like on my story i'll probably just like update story and be like baby's born and everyone's healthy can't wait to share what her with like you guys and stuff like that I guess I don't even know what she's gonna look like like what is she gonna look like and it sucks that I only get to see her in a picture that's sad for three days two days hopefully two days I'm rambling now but all weird things all weird things okay I'm gonna make dinner now but you guys see me make dinner all the time so do you want to see that I, you can't tell me I'll just show you when we're done I'll start vlogging again when my mom gets here look who's here hi hi okay well, we got music playing in the back. She brought my card and my yoga mat. I'll open it in a second. I'm in the middle of this. Here's my yoga mat. I can't believe there's still I know. I will um, have it linked below if it's still there, but it's like a pink snakeskin type situation. My mom just left. We just had a very long chat about um, coronavirus conspiracy theories that are coming out on the news. <laughs> Um, which just stresses me out, so now I never want to talk about it again. And then, um, we were just chatting. We were chatting about wedding stuff, and, uh, we, my mom told me basically we just need to wait to do anything until this all clears up, and then we find out if there's a second wave. What if there's not a second wave until, like, next year? You never know what's gonna happen. We just have to wait until we get off restrictions and things go back to somewhat normal yeah anyway so i don't know if we're getting married in florida or north carolina or california or texas or georgia or what that's but a joke but that's what it'll be special no matter what because yeah we it both will. love each other it will i'm just ready for like planning action to happen i can wait to like get married and stuff but i just want to at least have like a wedding date you know like it's frustrating when you don't have like an actual date yet so yeah anyways um right now what we finished cooking i did better with the tostadas today i still have to shower i haven't even showered today i feel grody but yeah anyways i'm just a little stressed out now after having that whole conversation and talking about wedding stuff and then the virus and then everything going on so i have an actual headache and might need to take ibuprofen so my plan was to end the vlog yesterday but since my baby sister is being delivered today i figured i'd just film into today so i can like get my reaction when they send me pictures and stuff i guess or i don't know just so i can like remember this day so i'm going to continue into this vlog since i was already vlogging and then we'll just have a whole nother vlog of me like finally meeting her in a couple days so yeah i'm very excited but we woke up late because we were watching the show the outer banks on netflix it's really really good and then also Fun fact, I broke my arm when I was in like sixth grade at the Outer Banks. So got hit by a wave and it broke my arm. But anyways, so yeah, we yeah, the show's really good. So I'll show you my outfit. I'm wearing the lilac leggings. We're going over to Colin's basement to lift today. We woke up kind of late because we were watching the Outer Banks for so long and then Connor FaceTimed us and was like, where are you guys? So we're gonna do yoga when we get back, but that's okay because it'll be like a post-workout, really good stretch. So yeah, I'm okay with it. But here's today's outfit. And then I will just keep you guys updated throughout the day as like I know more things um, and like when Henley gets here. So we're excited. We're back from Collins. So when we were there, we lifted and then we did yoga with Connor, his little brother. And in the middle of yoga, Henley was born. So my dad sent me a video and stuff. So right now she, everything's good. I will show you a picture. She is so cute. She is a chunk for being three weeks early. Here, I'll show you guys this picture. There she is. So cute. She does not look like me. I was dark when I was born. and But she does have brown hair. Right now she has blue eyes. Um, she passed all her AP guard tests. So yeah, everything's good. And she's a cutie. We can't wait to... She is a cutie. We can't wait to like hold her and everything might... I cannot talk right now. We can't I can wait. be your translator. Just look at me. So we're so excited. Can't wait to hold her. Can't wait to show her you guys. Just blown away by everything today. <laughs> Bianca can't talk, but I will relay all this. She is excited. She's thrilled. We're both excited. Had a great day. Did yoga, all kinds of stuff. And Hindley was born. It's just crazy. 
she's so cute. I'm getting standby updates from my dad and he keeps sending me videos and stuff. Here you can see. She's just so cute. Apparently she has a cute booty. They just said it in this video he sent me. But yeah, everything's good. I don't know, I can't remember how much she weighed, like 17 pounds, or no, not 17 pounds. Seven something, seven point one pounds and like 19 inches. Yeah, I think they used 19. So yeah, we're just so excited. I'm very sad we can't go see her right now, but it's okay. So we came to Target to get more toothpaste, body soap, and deodorant. Yep. But I'm getting my little sissy a little a little present. So I'm gonna get her a little stuffed animal and then I need to get a baby card for my dad and Tara. But isn't it so cute? There's a ton to choose from but I just wanted to get her something simple. And Target's playing music right now which is rare. Which is rare. Yeah, Target never said that's not music. true because we've be been relaxing. here like at least five times now when music's been played. Only during quarantine so maybe they're trying to make people happier. Yes. It's true. Anyways, we're just in the baby section. So cutie. So cutie. Those are boy stuff. Girl stuff. So cutie. Oh, look at this. That's cute. Wait, is this for newborns? Zero to three months. Look at how cute that is. Stuck with the bunny theme and got her bows and hats and a bunny. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, we've been working hard trying to get things done today so we aren't stressed out when all we want to do is go see my little sister tomorrow. So I'm going to end the vlog so I can get this one up and then we can start a whole new one because that's how the drill goes. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video.